morning Year 8s, so I'm going to take you through the first seven steps of your instructions, which is how to cut out your pattern pieces onto your fabric. So I have been to Spotlight and I have bought the fabric that I want to make my boxer shorts out of, okay? And just before we start, there are some important things that you need to know about your fabrics. So we have a side which is known as the right side. And then we also have a side which is known as the wrong side, okay? So the right side is the side of the fabric that has our pattern on there, okay? It's brighter, all right? And this is generally the side that we want showing on the outside of our shorts, okay? So this is the side we want everyone to see. The wrong side, in my case, okay, it's not as bright, it's white on this side, all right, and I can clearly see that the print is coming through and it's not actually printed on this side. This is the side of our shorts that we would like to be on the inside so that no one can see it. And for the purpose of making our shorts, this is always going to be the side that you sew on. You are always going to sew on the wrong side of your fabric, okay? So when it comes to cutting out our fabric, all right, in our instructions, it says we need to put right sides together, selvage to selvage. So, when you have bought your fabric from Spotlight or Lincraft, wherever you went, there are generally two sides to fabric. So, this side here is the raw edge. Okay, so this is the side, it's uneven, and the person in the shop has actually cut this side of the fabric. All right, it is not binded together, okay? It's the raw edge, and I can see lots of little frays as well coming off of it. When we look down this side, we have what is called the selvage, okay? And the selvage is actually binded together, okay? And it's actually binded in the factory. So it is the sealed edge of our fabric. And as you can see on mine, there's some writing on there so it says that it's poplin which is the type of fabric that I've bought and there's lots of little holes so this is the sealed edge and this edge will not fray so when it comes to cutting out our fabric and putting our pattern piece on we need to fold our fabric with right sides together selvage to selvage so the selvages are always opposite each other so there's a selvage down this end here so that means opposite it, there's the other selvage over here. Okay, so when I fold my fabric right sides together, selvage to selvage, I'm going to be left with both of the wrong sides, okay, both of the duller sides showing. All right, and to do this, you will need some space, okay? So make sure that it's folded nice and neatly and that all of the edges are even and in line. Now I folded my fabric in half, right sides facing, so the right sides are in the middle here, okay, they're on the inside, and it is selvage to selvage down on this edge here. Now it comes time to get our pattern pieces and to cut out and pin on our patterns. So each of the patterns in this storeroom are labelled and colour coordinated, okay? So I am making a medium pattern for today. I'm going to make a medium pair of boxer shorts. So when getting your patterns out, you need to make sure they should be labelled. One should be a back and one should be a front, okay? Now we need to cut two of these. So what we're going to do, because our fabric is folded in half, okay, when we pin on our pattern and when we cut it out, we're going to end up with two separate pieces, okay? So when we are putting our pattern onto our fabric, we wanna make sure that we're thinking about where we're putting it. So I've got lots of fabric down this end that I don't want to waste. So I'm not going to stick one piece of the pattern in the middle here and one bit here and have all this wasted fabric, okay? We wanna try and use the space effectively, okay? So, I have made sure that I have got my pattern piece in a place that I'm happy with and same goes for the front one, so the front and the back. Now, you need to remember that if your fabric has any 
um, patterns or any writing that needs to be up a certain way, you need to make sure that when you're pinning your pattern on to the fabric that you are doing it so that the writing is going to be up the right way when you're reading it, okay? Or if all the pictures are looking up one way, you need to make sure. So if you have any questions about that, it's time to stop here, come and grab me, and we'll have a look at it together. Okay, so I am happy with where my pattern pieces are sitting now. So it is now time to grab some pins, okay? And we need to pin our pattern pieces onto the fabric. So we need to go down through three layers. So two layers of our fabric and one layer, which is the pattern, okay? So we need to make sure that when we are pinning, we are going down and straight back up, coming through all three layers. So we need to go around and we need to do this around every edge of the pattern so that it is staying in place and it is nice and secure for when we cut out because we don't want to be cutting out and have our boxer shorts and the pieces of fabric all ragged and not in shape because it will make it a lot harder for when it comes time to actually sew and construct your boxer shorts. Whenever we do one pattern, we always do the other, so there's no point in just pinning one and cutting that out. Let's pin both while we're doing it and get them both done and both cut out. That is the same for all steps. If you do something to one side, you are then going to go and do it to the other side as well. My boxer shorts are all pinned, okay? And there are enough pins on each side so that I am now ready to cut out. When we're cutting, we want to make sure that we're taking long strides, okay? So that our fabric is staying nice and even. So we want to make sure that we have a sharp pair of scissors to start off with. So we're going to be going and cutting long strides as close to the pattern as possible. I've now cut out both pieces of my fabric fabric okay so I've cut out a front and a back of my boxer shorts this is my scrap fabric so I might just keep that as some spare so that I can test machines and things so to tell the difference between which piece is the front and which piece is the back we come to looking at this big curve down here so as you can see on both of them they are different on this side here there is a lot of a bigger curve and a longer end down here, whereas this one only has a little curve and then it seems to stop. When we're looking at this, remember that the bigger the curve is the back because it needs to go around your bottom. So the two backs that have big curves, okay, are for your bottom and the smaller curve here is the front of the shorts, okay? So what we are going to do now that we have pin these in place and we have cut them out, we have no need for the pattern anymore. All right, so it needs to be folded up nicely and returned to the same pouch that you got it from, all right? And then this, once you have taken all of the pins out and returned the pattern to where it belongs, you have now successfully cut out the pattern and your fabric for your boxer shorts okay and you will move on to the next step which is starting to construct them and putting them together so there are a series of videos after this which will take you step by step by step okay so once you have done a step you will then move on to a new video all right good luck